All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing like a circle icon uh, with your own name, and we're gonna be making it decorative using lime. So let's get going. All right, so I got this project again from, I think Pinterest or Google Images, and I thought it'd be pretty cool and interesting for you guys to do. So what you need is color paper, unfortunately. Uh, this might work with uh, just normal white paper, but I think color paper will work best. So I don't know if that's gonna work with the materials I have right now. Uh, it'll work best with construction paper and pastels. I don't know where my pastels are at the moment, um, but they're probably around this house somewhere. But I just have the crayons I have right here and we'll see if it works just as well. So over here, I'll try to zoom in for you guys on this video. Uh, I have some examples here and people have been writing their name in a circle formation and trying to fit their name and making sure that the letters are touching each other and they are in different directions. So I'm gonna try to do my best and let's go from there. So over here, I'm gonna draw a circle. You can use a plate, you can use a bowl or you can freehand it. So here I go. Here is my circle. And it looks like this project's gonna work as long as I'm gentle with my crayon and making sure I don't break it. Uh, in order to prevent it from breaking, it's a little bit easier for you guys to hold your crayon closest to the tip as possible. It'll prevent your crayons from breaking. So that's a helpful tip right there. Let me just go back over it a couple times here. All right, so this is my circle. I could have went larger, but hopefully that'll do. All right, so now I'm gonna do the word Mr. Mill. Now, what's good about my name is that there is a lot of very, uh, just straight online. So as you can see, the M is straight. Um, the R is a little bit curved right on top, but it has a lot more straight lines. And then Mill, obviously, is all sticks, just like so. All right, so why don't I do my name? You guys can focus on your name. We'll go from there. So the first rule to this project I want you guys to do is I want to make sure that your name, your first letter, your first name, is nice and big on the right hand side. Sorry, the left hand side. So I'm gonna do the M for Mr. And to make it obvious, I wanna make sure that it's, um, let's see, I wanna make sure that it's up straight. So the M took out half of my circle right there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find a place for the R. I could put it next door right there, but that'll be a little too obvious and I think it'll make it look like, not the way I want. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the R in a more interesting area. So maybe I'll go like this. I'll attach this to here, that's the back of the R. And then I'll try to create the curve and attach it to the middle of that M, just like so. And then I'll just connect the end of the R right there. Boom. So this is what I mean by connecting the letters together and the lines together. That way you have some line breakup and you can kind of color inside these areas. So if I were to color, hmm, I'm gonna make you guys choose your favorite colors. So this is one of my favorite colors right here. And if I color this section right here, I can because there's no openings. So it's gonna look real good later on. All right, let's do the next letter. I have another M. Now, I think for this one, I'm gonna attach it right here, just like so. I'm gonna hope that I made a good decision here. So here is my other M. I could have made the two M's uh, symmetrical, but that's okay. I wasn't thinking ahead of time. All right, this next one, I'm gonna do the I. Uh, I don't want to cheat, and I can just do a normal eye like that. Um, I think I'm going to kind of make it more advanced. So I'm going to do an eye that looks like this. So that's the top of the eye, bottom of the eye, and then the bottom of the eye right there. Cool. All right, let's try, try to find a spot for the L. I think I might put my L right over here. So here is my L, just like that. All right, I am done. All that's left to do is kind of like what they did right here, and I'm just gonna start coloring uh, the sections. So I wanna make sure that the sections aren't touching each other so it doesn't look like a big block of color. So I'm gonna make sure that the color sections are nice and far apart. So let me just start with this one color, and I'm just gonna jump around randomly, and then I can put this color away so I don't have to use it again. Let's see, this wouldn't work over here because it's gonna touch this one a lot. And I think the best spot for it would be right here. 
Perfect. Okay, um, let's see, another spot would work. Probably be right here, this nice big open area. All right, this could also probably work over here. And with that said, I can't really put it anywhere else. So I'm gonna put this one away. Oh, not like that though. <laughs> Uh, let's do my next color. Let's do a hot pink. And this is colored paper, so it's not going to really look like hot pink unless I put a white underneath. That's okay, though. All right, let's put it right here. It's looking more like just a plain green and uh, I guess like a dark like magenta color. But it still works. Let's put this color right here. Okay, um, why don't we put it in this big section right here? Maybe that'll look pretty cool. Neat. All right. Uh, I can't put it anywhere in these sections, so the last place that this color could go would be right here. Awesome. All right, I got one more color I could do. Let's color. What color could I choose? I think I'm gonna do. This gold color. Let's see if it works. And it does. All right. I think this will be my last color. So let's just focus on this color right here. This one spot where the L is on top of my M looks kind of like a check mark. Neat. There we go. All right. This one will look really cool right here. And this one right here. This looks really cool. I'm liking this a lot because it's a custom logo. And out of everything, it's my name. And it has my favorite colors in it. All right, so I think this project's done. It was a lot easier than I thought. If you want to decorate the outside, you can. I'm going to leave it the way it is because I like it the way it is. And that's basically it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this project. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.